Heavenly Father, I take this time to pray for Lotus Justice, Father God, and her son, for her restoration of her son, Father God, that she's been praying and waiting for this um, restoration and this justice to come and for some time, Father God, for some length of time. And I want to pray in agreement with her, Father God, for her to get her son back. It's been missing for some time, Father God. And I want to dare to believe you for a miracle to bring Lotus Justice's son back home to her, Father God, and to his family, Father God. And I also want to pray for the protection of Lotus Justice, especially of her son, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. So I'm dedicating this video to this video to Lotus Justice and her son. Father God, that she's waiting to get back. And also for her daughter, Father God, that, you know, have custody somewhere else. But I pray, Father, for the reunion and the unity back between her and her missing children. Father God, especially with her missing son and her daughter that's somewhere else with another relative or something. Father God, I pray, Father God, that you will bring restoration and rejuvenation and healing and reconciliation between Lotus Justice and her children, between Lotus Justice and her son that's missing and her daughter that has that's in custody of another relative or someone else, Father, in Jesus Christ's name. So, Father God, I pray for your supernatural intervention in this situation with Lotus Justice and her son missing. And I pray, Father God, that you will bring truth and exposure to this, Father God, and bring it out to the open and bring out to open the ones that are holding him captive, the perpetrators that are holding him captive and that have him held hostage wherever he is, Father God. I pray that you'll protect Lotus Justice's son, Father God, and cover him completely with the blood of Jesus Christ from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet, Father God. And I pray that you will send your warrior angels to fight on behalf of Lotus Justice and her son to get her son reunited back to her and restored back to her, Father God, and that you will bring him back whole and well, Father God, that you will cover him completely, Father God, with your power and your anointing and with the holy fire of the Holy Spirit, Father and the power of the Holy Spirit, Father God, and that you will cover him with your hedge and shield of protection and your glory shield, Father God, Lotus's son, and that you will also cover Lotus Justice with your hedge and shield of protection and the blood of Jesus Christ too, as she's standing and fighting the battles to get her son back and praying and standing on your word and trusting in you, Father God, for the restoration and for justice to be made for her son, Father, and for her. Father God, in Jesus Christ, and for her family, Father God, because I'm sure her family members miss her son, too, as well as she does, Father God. So I thank you, Father God, for bringing justice and vindication for Lotus Justice, Father God, because you are the God of righteousness. You are the God of justice. And this case is already given over to you in your heavenly court, Father God, because I'm sure justice, Lotus Justice have done that some time ago so father god i thank you for being the judge that judge righteously and fair father god and that you're judging righteously and fair in the situation between lotus justice and her son father god and i thank you for making things possible because all things are possible by you to those who believe father god and i'm one of those ones that believe father god just like lotus justice believe in you and your word, Father God, and she's trusting in you and your word and standing on your word and the promises of your word. And I dare to believe that you are a God of restoration, Father God, and rejuvenation and reconciliation, Father God, and a God of recreation, Father, and your God that can make the dead, death, death to life, life, Father God, make life out of death, Father God, bring death to life. Father God, and make the dry bones into flesh, Father God. So in these situations that Lotus Justice is going through with her son 
and waiting for him to get him back and and fighting for that, Father God, and doing all the legal work of that, Father God, that you are giving her favor, you are giving her revelation and understanding and knowledge about her son. Father God, you're giving her knowledge how to fight this, Father, in a legalistic way, Father God, in a court way or whatever, that you're making a way out of no way where it seems impossible for Lotus Justice to get her son back. I dare to believe you for a miracle, Father, to get her son back and to find her son, to find the answers of what happened to him, Father. And I'm hoping that he's still alive, Father God. And I'm praying that he's still alive, Father God. And I pray, Father God, that you would just give her the knowledge of what happened and where he is. You know, that your will be done in this situation and your will be done in Lotus Justice's son's life, Father God, whatever your will is. And Father God, I thank you for extending your mercy and grace out to Lotus Justice to at least let her know what happened to her son and where her son is and what's going on with him. I thank you for revealing to her by the power of the Holy Spirit and by your knowledge and understanding, Father God, to what you want her to know at this time, Father God, or what you want her to know at a later time, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. But I thank you, Father, that you are supernaturally intervening in this situation and bringing justice and vindication for Lotus Justice and for her son, Father God. And I pray that you will Wrap your arms around Lotus Justice's son, Father God, to comfort him on every side, Father God, wherever he is, Father God, to heal him from any type of abuse and the disappointment and the agony of being separated by, from his mom and his family and stuff, Father God, and Jesus Christ, that you will heal him from those very deep wounds, Father God, of betrayal, those deep wounds of thievery, Father God. And violation and criminality of him being stolen from his family and from his mom and stuff, Father God. And that you will heal Lotus Justice of her being separated from her son and not knowing where he is and if he's alive or not or whatever, what's going on with him, Father God. And I thank you for easing her of that pain, Father, and letting her know that you will bring justice to her very soon, Father God, in your own timing. Father God, in your own way, and that you are supernaturally working in the in the spiritual realm. Father God, and I pray that you will bust out every demon spirit that's holding on to her son, Father, every spirit of hostage, every spirit of Pharaoh, Father God, and slavery and imprisonment, Father God, that's holding on to her son, Father, that you will break those chains of hostage and imprisonment and slavery and Pharaoh demons off of her son, off of Lotus Justice's son, Father God, with your power and your anointing and your holy fires and with the blood of Jesus Christ and the power and the fire of the Holy Spirit in Jesus Christ's name, that you will loose Lotus's justice son from out of the hand of the enemy with the blood of Jesus Christ and with your holy fires and your power and your anointing. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God, and that you release your warrior angels to fight for Lotus's justice son to shoot at these demons, Father God, with your arrows and to wound up these demons with your arrows, Father God, that's holding on to Lotus Justice's son and hostage in some kind of place, some strange place, Father God, in some secluded place, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, that you will break the Jericho walls, Father God, and burn up the Jericho walls that's holding Lotus's justice son and hot hostage, Father God, with your holy fires, with your power, with your anointing, with the blood of Jesus Christ. And with the fire and the power of the Holy Spirit down to the ashes to the ground to not. That you release your warrior angels, the wound of every demon that come against her son, every demon spirit of captivity and hostage and and control and manipulation and witchcraft and Satanism. Father God, every demon spirit of domination, Father God, every demon spirit of hostage and and uh Prison imprisonment, Father God, and slavery and bondage in Jesus Christ's name. Then wound up those demons, Father God, with your fiery swords that come against Lotus Justice's son and that's holding him bound, Father God. That you will unbound him, Father God, and break the chains off of Lotus Justice's son with your holy fires, with your power, with your anointing. With the blood of Jesus Christ, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, to break those chains off of Lotus Justice's son. Off of 
those demons off of him, Father, that's holding him captive through his controllers and, and through the handlers that's, that's having him in hostage, Father God, in, in an unknown place, Father God. But you know where Lotus is. Justice Son is, Father. You know everything that's going on. You know the real deal about everything, Father, because you are the God that sees. You are Jehovah Ra, Father God. You are the God that sees all, and you see greater than the eye of Lucifer, Father God. And nothing is hiding from you, Father God. What these evildoers are doing to Lotus Justice's son and holding him ha hostage and doing things, evil things against him or whatever they're doing against him, Father God. Father God, I, you see everything and nothing is missing your eyes, Father God. You know the injustices. You know every evil thing that's going on behind it, every discrepant thing that's going on behind it, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. So I thank you, Father God, for supernaturally intervening and fighting for Lotus Justice's son and fighting for Lotus Justice, Father God, even in the court when she's fighting the case, Father God, and the procedures that you will give her the wisdom and the finances and everything that she needs and the right information, the right people to help her, Father God, to put the right people in her path to help her and to give her the right kind of knowledge, Father God, that what she needs to do because she's pretty clever, Father God. She has learned a lot since she's been going through the stuff with losing her children and stuff, Father God, and you have been teaching her a lot and she's been getting closer to you and in your word. And she's on fire with you and with your word and on fire with the Holy Spirit, Father God. And I thank you for just giving Lotus Justice further wisdom, Father God, and understanding and knowledge and revelation, Father God. And everything concerning her son and everything concerning what she's fighting for in court or whatever in a legal matter, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. And despite of what the court CPS says, Father, I thank you for superseding, Father the CPS and the deep state concerning her son and that you are doing a miracle um, that you are digging deep beyond the deep state and the CPS and bringing her son back and bringing her the knowledge and understanding and information about her son, about everything that she needs to know and want to know about her son, Father God, that you're making it very, very possible because it's nothing too hard for you to do, Father God. It's nothing too difficult for you to do. And this is not too hard for you to do because, Father, you are a miracle working God all the time. You do miracles all the time and you do great and mighty works, Father God. And you know how to do the impossible where it seems like nothing can never happen, Father God. So I thank you for stepping in, Father, and supernaturally intervening to do the impossible that seems to be impossible, but is possible only by you, Lord, that you know how to do, Father God. Father God, because you are the one that can fix it. Jesus Christ, you are the one that can fix this. You can fix it in two, Father God, a possibility, the truth, Father God, and to a surety, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Father. So, Father God, I'm going to pray some scriptures over Lotus Justice and her son, Father God, in the King James Version Bible, some Psalm scriptures. Father God, and one Matthew scripture, and then I'm going to pray some other scriptures from uh, John Eckhart books, Father God, a couple of his books, Father God. And then I'm going to pray as you lead me between scriptures, Father God. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, for leading me to this point and leading me throughout this whole episode of praying for Lotus Justice and her son, for the return of him to her, his mom. Father God, because her heart is bleeding and Father God, and I pray that you will just soothe her and heal her heart, Father God, from bleeding and hemorrhaging and not knowing where her baby is, Father God, and that you are revealing to her and comforting her on every side, Father God, with your comforting and soothing, soothing hand, Father God, with your healing balm, your soothing balm, Father God, and your sob. Father God, your healing sob in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for just sending your angels to comfort Lotus Justice and her son, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name where he is. Father God, to comfort them every day, every day, 24-7, every day, including today, right now, in these midnight hours. In Jesus Christ's name, Father and I thank you for healing her son and for healing Lotus Justice and, the, and her family too, Father God, from the missing of her son in Jesus Christ's name. 
and healing Lotus Justice, even with her daughter being away from her, her other daughter, one of her daughters, Father God, I don't know how many children totally that.